Hey guys, welcome back to your must be online tutorial video. And this video teach you how to process the picture and then rip a file to print on the dark t-shirt, like a black t-shirt. So, for example, we want to print this picture on a t-shirt, on a black t-shirt, printed with white ink and color ink on the top of the white ink by one pass print. And also, please remember and please pay attention to the picture you get have copyright and, and not for commercial using. And this picture we just downloaded from the internet and and not for commercial using. So if you have any copyright, please contact with focus support team. And the picture, if we just want to print this picture on the black t-shirt. So first we must process the picture from Photoshop to create a spot channel to print with white ink because this picture just have only have CMYK color channels and first we open the Photoshop we load the picture to rip to, to Photoshop that is and we can see first we must uh, delete the transparent background we go to the match first we select by similar now it's transparent already, but if you have a white background or black background or other other colors, you just please delete it. We select it, and we can still see this some um, uh, little bit edge is not clear. So we can go to select, and we go to modify and expand. And we put by 10 pieces or 12 pieces. The bigger piece of number you put here, the more the more the edge cut down. Click OK. We can see here. And we can click delete it to get better the edge, more sharp. And then we control and delete to cancel the selection. By this way. Okay, then we go to the layer, we can see this is the layer, and be sure the lock is unlocked. And then, then we go to image and the model, we be sure it is CMYK color, no RGB, but CMYK with better color printout results. Okay, after that, and we go to the channel, we can see this is only CMYK channel, no white channel. We click on it, we can see here, is for sale. It's for sale and magenta and yellow and black. It's more white ink. So we need to we need to create a spot channel for white ink print for better quality. So first uh, we go to layer. We back to layer. We select a layer, and then we go to image adjustment. First, we go to the delete the color, and also remember we back to the before step. Before we do any pro, any any process, we must copy a layer, duplicate the layer for backup, and we do all the set, do all the processing from this copy, and keep this one. We can close the eyes, we process it by this way. And I select this this layer and we go to image adjustment and we go to delete the color to keep to convert by grayscale. Okay, so here we can get this uh, kind of layer. And if we just uh, spot, uh, if we want to print the, the picture here with more white ink and the, here the dark position. And go from this picture, we can see the the black position is printed with white ink, and the white position printed with 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 no white ink, and the grayscale prints little white with with little white ink. But we want to get the white ink print on here and here with grayscale. So if we print a real picture on the black t-shirt, we need to make the inverse. So we go to image adjustments. We go to in, we go to invert by this way. So by this way, we can see that here is 
black black position we print the more black position the more black color we print the more white ink with more white ink density and uh, the edge with gray scale with little little white ink at this way okay after we process this way we can also go to, go to the image and adjustment by cube here we adjust the curve by this way and the the more ink with dark ink we put the more white ink coming out and if and also the, if too much black like this the gray scale will not good if you want a good gray scale it's just a little bit less and if you print with full white ink no gray scale like this is printed with full of white ink and the best white ink density but no gray scale no shadow no details and we can adjust by this way or a little bit dark by this way click ok after the process by this way then we go to channel and we click this icon to load load the channel as a selection then we automatically select the picture and now we go go to the selection tools and we right click a mouse to choose by se select the inverse by this way and then we go to go to this icon at this option and here we must remember we must choose new spot channel but not new channel new spot channel by this way okay then we go to put the number by one spot channel and the color here remember the less the less color you put you fear the less white ink print out if you want to get the best white ink density you just put by cmyk watch if you put by cmyk one percent you get the maximum white ink print out to get the best wedding density and at this solidity also we put by 100% so we get a wet spot channel created and when we open when we close the same way okay, this is a spot channel for wet ink and the more dark position for the more wet ink and also right now you can also do some setting we can do some setting to uh, to get better also we go to back go to image adjustment and we go to also we can set in the curves again to make it dark or lighter as you want it's more white ink print and this less white ink print and better grayscale and shadow detail, details print print out and also if you don't want the grayscale results you want the, the sharp the sharp sharp very sharp uh, print results you can go to image adjustments and you go to the, the share hood you can cut down the share hood and this is you can get the, the sharp result and this is for full up one ink and this quality is not good you can little adjust a little bit and the white partition printed with one ink and the white the black the black partition printed with white ink and the white partition printed with no white ink so if you want to print the gray scale, your result, you just click off, no, no by the share hood, just cancel. I just teach you this option. Okay, so you get the, the white spot channel. But when we click off, and we can see the DMYK become red. So we go to layer, and we open the CMYK layer, and we delete the first uh, creation create copy because this copy just for just to help us to get the better to, to better to selection for for the white layer so we just uh, after we process we just click delete it right click and delete the layer and we open the same way okay, this one must be open open the first layer and the channel we also open the white channel so we check if we click we close off the white ink we can see the cmyk is coming Stay here. 
the magenta, yellow, black, and white. And then we must open all the eyes, open, open all the eyes. And also, if you want to get the best of the, here the edge is really sharp. If you want to make the picture, the white ink have a good result on the edge, you can do some setting also. You go to uh, choose the magic tools and you select the white position. And then we make the, the edge more smooth. Then we go to right click and we go to choose the go to layer click on and we go to put the selection feeder like uh, uh, inclusion for example we put 45 then we go to use the delete tools like this to make the energy more smooth but right now if we can see it, it, it become the, the color become uh, and we can see the words become change so we too much we go back to the next before step and we make the piece less by, for example, by 20 pieces and then we delete it. And then the edge become more smooth, not too sharp. So by this way, you can get the picture with better uh, background to make, to make the picture match with the black t-shirt better, but not to not have a really um, sharp edge by this way if you don't want this one also get uh, not good you can also by this way you cancel it you select the magic tools select again and use the select the tools and you press the shift on your keyboard and you now select it. I use the auto, click the auto to delete it. The words position, we make the no feeder by this way. And here also. Okay, by this way, then we go to select the tools and right click the mouse and we go to feeder. By 20 pesos, the bigger number you put, the more edge and the more inclusion result you get. Then we enlarge and we press delete, delete option, delete, delete from your keyboard, and delete one time or two times as you want. So now you can get the more smooth edge, not too sharp. Then we could go to control and delete to cancel it. And here have a sharp edge, and here's no sharp edge. But you must select, uh, go back. We must select uh, the white channel, but not the color channel, but this way. And then we go to delete. Go to feed 20 pixels and delete, 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 but this way. But the color layer we not not do by this way. The color layer do but the color layer keep as default. Just just delete the edge from the white layer by this way, and then we cancel it. And then we open the CMYK and click off the CMYK is still like this, and the white layer we get by this way. And then we open the all the aisles. Remember we must. Uh, Click on all the eyes, otherwise we will not print with the, the channels. Again, same way okay, or open the white channel also or open and this layer also open. And then we go to 
set the ball, set we save as T format. Black T demo we choose by T format and we save it. And no chance. So we get the black T demo picture at this. This picture is after we process from Photoshop. Okay, so after we process from Photoshop, then we need to uh, rip the picture from the loop software. Uh, also, then we input the USB key on the rip software and we open it. We open the rip software. And please do not remember to put the USB key on your computer. And then we load input picture that we processed the before black key demo here. And we set the size we want print. And this is the, this picture show or the picture will not a little bit different by the rip from the Photoshop, but doesn't matter. It's just for sure, it's just an icon. Um, we go back to the rip, or we go back to the rip, and then we must be sure the picture is the inside of the processing diagram. If we put a picture like this, the overlap position will not print out. Then we go to the spot channel, and then we need to open the first channel. This channel is for one imprint. We choose the spot channel and input channel one, output channel one, and the percent is 100%, and the ink density put by 100%. And remember here, if you choose by spot channel, the white ink density almost uh, controlled by the control software and Photoshop. Here is only a little bit adjust. But if you don't want to process picture from Photoshop, you want to press the RIP automatic, det automatic detect, you can choose by the image base, uh, spot by spot class image base. But this is not so, so correct. So we strongly want you to process picture from Photoshop before we RIP and we choose by spot channel. And then the half toning type we choose by large and middle dot. The large dot for print the white ink to get white ink better white ink density. And the middle dot is for printing on the color. And the breathing here, the breathing we can minus and plus. And uh, for print t-shirt, we just used by the, the the minus option. And the more number you put, the more edit the big picture will be cut down for white ink, it's just for white ink. So normally we just uh, keep the, the, this number depending on what kind of print size you want. The bigger size picture the t-shirt you want, so you can cut down more. And also if you print a small verse, small verse on the black t-shirt, you just uh, put number smaller, otherwise we cut down the, the, the characters. Normally we just keep by uh, keep as minus 0 0.09 or minus 0.1 millimeter for the edge cut down to, pre to, to prevent the white imprint overlap. We process by this. And here, the bigger number you put, the rip speed will be more slowly. We set by this way, we click OK, and then we go to click print. And here, the ICT profile is made. Here, the solution is for ICT profile, as we talked before. And please ask the focus team to, uh, to know the best setting and the best uh, uh, ICT profile to, for, for using. And also, we strongly, recommended, we strongly recommended you to take the ink from focus because this ICT profile is um, according to the ink using. Different ink use different ICT profile. And for print on for print on the black t-shirt, we strongly recommend you to use the resolution by 720 times 3600. And because the advantage, and we click ICT profile on to get the best uh, grayscale and the shadow and the details print result. The same way is for really adjust the the color for each channels, which keep just uh, by default by zero. And 
click OK. And then here we choose by forward output. Then we click print. And we save the file by black key demo. Uh, convert to PRM file. Then we click save. And now it starts processing. And the processing speed is depend on the overlap, the numbers you put, and also depend on the picture resolution. The bit, the bigger resolution, the processor speed is more slowly, and also your computer configuration. More expensive computer with high configuration, the processor speed will be faster. And we strongly recommend you the computer for printing and ripping. The configuration will are no less than four core for CPU. And the memory must be bigger than eight gigs for faster speed print. Okay, now we get finished. Then we go to the desktop, we get the black tea demo PRM file, ripped, finished. So this for print a black t-shirt and this for print a black t-shirt. And let, later, the next uh, video will teach you how to print from the first Asina Jet Control System to print on the pic or print the picture on the t-shirt. So this the video is the process for processing a picture from the Photoshop and also rip the picture from the rip print for black t-shirt and the white t-shirt. And if you have any questions, you can ask a focus support team to know how to process. Okay, thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.